Aloha, my internet family. How are you? It's been a while. How many of you guys remember this little guy from back in 2017? This is a beta unit of the Pico Hybrid Hot End that was going to be produced by the original manufacturers of the Pico Hot End. Unfortunately, they kind of dropped off everybody's radar and this never made it to market. Fast forward to 2019 and 2020, and we're gonna see the Pico Hybrid resurrected. Let's do it. So the original group that had been working on the Pico Hybrid, B3 Innovations, kind of got sidetracked with other projects, it sounds like, and never got this to market. And this is a very innovative hot end uh, in the fact that you can see that it is so tiny. The heat zone or the hot zone is so small that you can actually use a printed uh, adapter to adapt it to your printer and just for size comparison that is up next to an E3 V6 clone uh, as you can see it is substantially smaller now aside from that a couple of the awesome benefits that was touted by this guy is that you could go from all metal to PTFE lined simply by changing the nozzle. Their nozzle has either a cap inside that you can put a PTFE liner in it, or you can run a nozzle that runs all the way up through into the heat break, uh, I'm sorry, into the heat sink, if you will, an integrated heat brink style, um, should you need to run hotter materials. Well, the good news is this isn't dead. A new company called Metaform has been put together by a group of three engineers, um, Aaron, Paul, and Josh, um, that are going to be bringing this to market and we're going to see pre-orders happening soon, if not now, not already. So keep an eye out for that. I never ended up putting this on a printer and putting it through its paces because it kind of dropped off the radar. Um, but I'm going to be doing that now. Just have to decide which printer I want to put it on. I mean, this, it, it, it's, it's so tiny. Um, Metaform does have some changes and improvements, and I'm going off my cheat sheet here that they sent me. Um, that is going to improve on what the the original design intention want, is. For one, is they're adapting the original mounting collet that does come with it to match up to the East 3D style, J-head style collet, um, which means it's compatible with more printers. Because the way that this attaches and it's removable and because you can print your own, you can adapt this to any printer, including printing a longer one if you needed to, to be able to drop it down to match the height of something. Uh, let's say you're trying to match it to a CR-10 or something else. They are also going to be including a silicone sock with every one, and they're going to be introducing more nozzle sizes other than the original limited 0.4 that was uh, available at the time of the beta. And they're going to be putting out a version that will handle up to 500 C. 500 Celsius. So that's a lot. That's a huge melt zone in such a tiny little little device. A couple of things that are being held over from the original design and we'll be we'll see coming back later is the heatsink cooling fan here. This tiny little thing originally actually had a part cooling fan as well that just slid around it like so. Uh, it, it would slide over the front there and had a secondary fan that would just go down and cool your parts. 
Unfortunately, it was found in testing that this didn't work as well as it had hoped. It cools one side of the print great, but not all the way around. So they're working on providing an updated integrated part cooling fan, but that will be a day two feature. Also, I don't have the original thermistors, but all of their cabling uh, and their thermistors and their, their heater cartridge cabling is all reinforced. Uh, if you can see here, there's like a metal tab that comes with this that provides a strain relief so that this isn't just going to break or bend as it comes out of the unit. So they are all reinforced. It works direct drive boat in or in any configuration that you want. And height wise, again, they're 39 millimeters short and they are 28 grams when fully loaded with the heater, thermistor, and fan. So Bottom line is my excitement on this guy is renewed. Uh, as soon as I get word that they are taking pre-orders with this that show more prettier pictures, I will post a link to that down in the description below. But I will close today and show you some of the pictures that they sent me that show the thermal flow and how this thing looks in pieces. And these are probably some of the same images that are going to make it into their pre-order launch. All right, so with that, I will leave you. Let me know what you think about this Pico. I know there's a lot of other hot ends coming on the market and stuff, but just due to the pure size of this thing, it has me excited and the flexibility. So let me know what you guys think of it down below, and let me know if anybody decides to go for one once the pre-order is out there. Aloha.